Hey guys, Dion Rice here coming at you with another tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to be looking at the website called Restream.io. Now this site has allowed me to support multiple streams all at once. Now what I have for you is we have Twitch, YouTube, Hitbox, Beam, MLG, any kind of live stream service, the software itself. And you let it through this Restream.io website to allow you to stream to those sites all simultaneously at once. And I'm going to show you how it actually works. So as you notice, I have all my four websites here. I got Twitch over here in the corner. I got Hitbox here, Beam, and then YouTube as well. Now, in order for you to basically start up this process of this tutorial, you need to go to your dashboard. By, but first, you got to make your account first. You got to make your account, sign up an email and password. And then here you go. You meet, you come up to the new dashboard. They call it the dashboard because all you have here is your channels that you have assigned to, your preview screen, the video that you're going to be watching, and of course, the ever famous RMTP URL and also the stream key that you're going to be needing to use to put input to your streaming software of your choice. Now, in order for you to do that, first, you need to obviously add a channel first. In this case, you want to click here, go into the corner here, go add channel. And now you have a lot of more options here. I, I honestly I have no idea some, what some of these are. A lot of them are old. Like you have here Ustream, Twitch, Beam, YouTube. I'm not sure why there's two different YouTube ones, but I think that might be a difference. MLG, I remember Livestream. I have no idea what these other ones. Connectcast, I don't even want to say that one. Inst InstaGib, I wonder what that's supposed to mean. Uh, InstaGib for me is obviously different because I like the game. I like to play video games and such, but that's not a thing. Anyway, so you click on one of these. I already have associated with all the other ones, but mostly what you do is you click on one of them and you need to either add the URL of the stream of the, the stream of from the site. Let's say, for example, YouTube, you would need to add that one. And then also the stream key of that service into Restream. Now, I can't show it to you guys because as soon as you, let's say, for example, I click Twitch, uh, it's going to give me, say, double payments channel because I already have one associated. But basically, all you do is add the URL, add the add the service of it and which one you want to stream to most of the time though it's mostly just the key in the server but maybe other times i think on hitbox as an example i just logged in and associated the account and now in order for you to do some other things now that you have that you need to have your trusty obs open as an example now you're going to see some screen reception for a little bit but i think i can uh, work, make that work so basically in the settings of obs I'm gonna go to the settings and go into the corner here and there you go into the settings of obs because i use obs studio for my main primary uh, source you go down to the stream section go under stream type make sure you hit either streaming services or custom streaming server but here you want custom streaming server because that's where you want to go to for restream to go to now in the top right and in the corner here in the and the on the dashboard right below the preview screen you see the rntp url and also the stream key these are associated to the url that you will put into here and also the stream key that we should put into here. After that, everything should be set up. You should be ready to go for the streaming side of things. Now to test this, obviously, you're going to go back to your OBS, hit the start streaming button, and then go hit start the stream. You start to see some noticing on the channel itself that you will have a preview. You're going to start having a preview screen show up on momentarily as a stuff. So as I show here, um, these things will, all these sites over here will end up being uh, loaded up right now. As you notice, the Twitch starts to going over here. You have the one on Beam here that's actually starting up as well. Hitbox should be going on soon, and then YouTube is saying the same thing is going to be starting. And you can rectify that on the same site as well. As you can see that the that the site itself is showing the preview screen in the corner here in the top where my mouse cursor is right now. And then you can actually see it being here in a the connection. They say each one's saying connected, connecting, connecting. And after that, it should you should be all good. Uh there shouldn't be any much of a problem. Uh it's just gonna depend on which one of your sites are gonna be watching, which one's gonna be working, stuff like that. If you notice though, hitbox is a little delayed, like really much delayed, but if you haven't noticed, all these are at the same time and it works obviously the, the delay is different for each site but you know you're streaming at four different sites that's all it is and that's basically good for content creation you're getting yourself out there uh, getting out more viewers and such like that but what if you how, how would you manage multiple chats like this though how would you want to manage these kinds of chats well restream actually did something a couple of weeks ago that they actually added a chat section where you're allowed to actually chat and have all the actual platforms all together and chatting and if you have noticed this is an example of what they're showing here right now but let's say if, uh if i go to my other monitor because i have a bug inside the restream app right now or the chat app at least so it's gonna you have notice i have a i have the chat open right here in the corner but the thing is it doesn't it doesn't want to move or something but that's just a bug in the app that's fine so here if i can type in the chat here let's say i don't know uh, apparently i'm on the twitch side of things so let's say follow follow me and if you look 
on the if you look on the other side you can see that it actually showed up here in a corner here it says follow me where i did that now obviously if you chat into any of the other servers so let's say here i go type in the beam type in the beam chat right here so you go the or something i don't know uh chat that and then press enter you press enter here it will actually show up as a beam it will say so it will show the beam logo here showing that it's from a different chat now if you do the same thing with the youtube section i think if you can let's go here and yeah chat uh say something there we go well this is a test this is a test and then you notice that the thing should work or not maybe not okay well i guess the youtube part of the things doesn't work but oh there you go never mind it took a while that took a little bit of delay there and then if you go here into the hitbox more testing more testing of restream of the restream app. stream and there you go you see all each one of the chat logos are going on and such so i hope this will help i hope this little tutorial will help you out if you have any more questions please don't hesitate to ask me because i'm definitely would, would like to help you guys out and or you know just have some have some fun with uh streaming to multiple sites and such now make sure however that you need to uh, get the stream keys for all the particular sites and put it into restream log in and such like that if you still have any other problems make sure to contact me contact me in the comments down below or on twitter at diamond rice uh thank you very much for watching you guys and i hope you guys see you soon goodbye